Reverse high five! Hey guys and girls, I'm in Hannibal and welcome back to Would You Rather, the game of decisions and choices where you've got to pick of one or the other, hence Would You Rather. And the first question that we're going straight into is Would you rather eat all of your meals where the food is freezing cold or eat all of your meals with five tablespoons of salt poured on it? Now, tablespoons is massive. Let alone a teaspoon, five teaspoons. So every single meal that you have, even if it's like bacon to begin with, which is incredibly salty, you gotta have freaking five tablespoons of salt on top of that. No, thank you. I'd rather eat freezing cold meals. Yes, 65% agree. Thank you very much. Would you rather be barefoot for, barefoot for the rest of your life or wear Crocs for the rest of your life? Easy, easy, easy decision. Barefoot. Become like a hobbit. Maybe your feet will grow and they'll get a really tough surface and you become some kind of awesome rock climber and be ambidextrous with your feet or something. I don't know. But definitely be barefoot. 58% <laughs> of people would rather not wear Crocs. They are an awful fashion decision. Would you rather be starving for the rest of your life or obese for the rest of your life? Right. <laughs> now, being obese obviously is not a good thing. It's unhealthy. You can die early. You get heart problems, diabetes and da-da-da-da-da. But being starving for the rest of your life, you know that feeling where you haven't eaten for just like maybe five hours, six hours, how hungry you can be. That's nothing compared to starvation. Imagine not eating for like three or four days, because I think, is it what, three weeks humans can survive without food? It's three or four days without water, and I think I'm sure it's three weeks without food. Imagine being that hungry all the time. I'd definitely rather be obese and die full, happy and hungry um, and full rather than being miserable, starving, no energy, easily obese. Really? 52%? I was expecting a lot more than that. But the way that I weigh it up is for the reasons that I've just given. I'd rather be happy and fat and full and maybe people take the piss out of me or whatever. I don't care. But at least I'm not starving. If you were in a horror movie, would you rather be thrown into a snake pit or be thrown into a spider pit? I'm not bothered by creepy crawlies. Spiders or snakes don't bother me in the slightest. I'm not afraid of bugs. I'm not afraid of flies or ghosts or... The only thing I'm a little bit dodgy with is maybe heights. But even then it's just a bit of a wobble and I don't think... Meh. Um, down the bottom here it says snakes are poisonous and five feet long. Spiders are six inches in diameter and poisonous. Um, uh, to be honest... Doesn't make a difference. I'll just go snake. Yeah, 66% people say snake. But yeah, spiders don't bother me. If you were at the end of the world, would you rather throw yourself at lava or drown in a tsunami? There's people that have said or tried to describe what drowning is like and what it feels like. Some people have said that it's really sort of quite peaceful because you just go unconscious and then you die afterwards once you've taken in the water. Some people say that it was sort of like a stabbing feeling. Um, some people just say it's quite instant and you just go... But that horrible, horrible struggle that I can just... You know when you try and hold, you're in a swimming pool or in the bath just messing around and you try and hold your breath for as long as possible and you're like, that's a horrible, horrible feeling. It's like so panicky and you have to get to the surface or whatever. With lava, I'd literally just throw myself head first. <laughs> just go whoop, just do like a swanton bomb into it um, so that like I get instantly hit with boiling hot lava and die almost instantly. So it'd easily be the lava. <gasps> really? 51%? I thought it'd be a lot more than that as well. Interesting. Would you rather have no tongue or have no teeth? And it says down here, no, you cannot get dentures. They would not be forcibly removed. You would just ne never have them to begin with. Or have no tongue. Right, so, if you had no tongue, you would lose your taste buds and you wouldn't be able to taste things properly. You wouldn't be able to talk properly, properly and you wouldn't be able to go at people. <laughs> if you had no teeth, you'd just be gummy and you wouldn't be able to chew food, but you could still get the taste of smooshed up food. You'd just be like a baby again. Um, so I'd rather have no teeth because if I couldn't taste things, like you have a delicious chocolate or a cheeseburger, or, although it's all smooshed up, at least you can taste it. No teeth. Yeah, 63%. Okay, would you rather be known as a drug dealer or be known as a liar? It says you wouldn't be the friendly neighborhood dealer either. <laughs> um, 
I think that most people in their lives lie. Not 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 most people are drug dealers. <laughs> most people in their lives lie at some point. There's no one in the history of the world that can go through saying that they have never told a lie. Even if it's the smallest thing when you're a kid. No, mummy, I didn't touch the talcum powder and it's everywhere. Or no, I didn't do this or no I didn't do that I think everyone has lied in their lifetime so if you're known as a liar I don't think that's too bad because some people will still trust you but if you're known as a drug dealer that's not good man you've got enemies out there you've got the police after you and it's not exactly a great job to have <laughs> so I'd definitely rather be known as a seriously well I suppose people are probably going down the line of Walter White um, if he's, he's a drug dealer, he's pretty cool, but nah, I, I'm, a, I'm not going to be a drug dealer, I'd rather be known as a liar. Um, again, probably most drug dealers are liars as well. Because um, I got that wrong, I'm going to pause that episode there, guys and girls. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe, type up a couple of comments, and I'll see you in the next episode. High five! Whoosh.